character. Everybody gets bullied. But there's nothing no, anybody can do about it. But not everyone gets beaten up. A brave Madison East student isn't keeping quiet following an after school attack. It happened last week as she was trying to head home. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. Three girls were arrested after their victim was repeatedly punched and kicked in the head. The location just a block from East High School where 4th intersects with Winnebago. New at 10, the night team's David Douglas has the details. Sarah, 15 year old Alana Krupp says she knows the girls who came at her, but maintains she wasn't talking trash about them, trying to prompt a fight. She hit me in my face and I got pulled down to the ground by my hair. In a few seconds, an otherwise okay freshman year at East High School turned entirely upside down. I couldn't really talk because they, they were hitting my face and like I didn't even know what to say. I felt, I think I said stop once or twice, but there wasn't much I can do, could do after like, they weren't going to stop. It was hardly the greeting Alana Krupp hoped for at the bus stop last Wednesday. She said, I want to fight you, and I was like, I'm not going to fight you because there's no point in it. I never did anything to you. Alana says she feels safe on the East Campus and doesn't feel the attack ever would have happened there. But just a block off those grounds was a whole other story. Of course, what got the girls caught was videotaping the attack and posting it to the internet. It wasn't really until that afternoon that the police officer called me and asked me if I wanted you know, to press charges, like that there was a video that these girls were really vicious. They Alana's mom, Sarah, hasn't seen the Facebook clip, but police have. On it, one of the girls says, it doesn't matter if you want to fight or not, she gonna hit you. It's scary, you send your kids to school to learn, and to learn lessons from school, not, not to learn these kind of lessons that People are just going to watch you get beat up and not going to help you. The video has been removed and Alana's bruises have healed. But ironically, it's having her whole school watch the attack happen on tape that's hurt the most. I don't want to hear it. Like, I already know this happened. I was there. I don't need to be reminded of it multiple times. Brave girl there. The three girls arrested, 216, 115, face different charges. One is charged with battery, another disorderly conduct, a third being party to a crime. The school district says it works with police and sometimes sets up individual safety plans for students when events happen off campus, but cannot comment specifically. All right, thank you so much, David Douglas, reporting tonight.